All right, so PicoOS has had a few changes to the installer, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take a look and see what's been done. If you've already, you know, installed, you know, Linux in the past, then you'll know how to get here. If you don't know how we got here, I've got plenty of videos showing how to create a USB. Uh, one should be posted up below right there in the tag. If I remember to put it in, I should remember to put it in on how to make that USB. And then it's as simple as just booting into that USB if you you know, don't know how to do that. I also believe inside of that video, there's a thing. Otherwise I'll, I'll, sh I'll put a something somewhere on the screen now, because I don't know what editor me is going to do, uh, showing the hotkeys to press so this way you can get your boot select, uh, menu and go from there. But right now we're inside of a virtual machine. So let's take a look. We have the Pico S live image. So let's click uh, click into that. That's the screen that you'll get to when you uh, boot into that USB. It's going to show you all of the uh, little options that are there. If you just let it sit, it'll automatically boot into this. If you click a button on the keyboard, it's you know going to give you the other option. So install distro to system. This is going to be the first thing that we're interested in. There's a lot of fun stuff that's inside of here, but it's not really relevant. We want to get this installed. We want to play with it so install distro to system this is a beautiful thing still love it thank you guys so much for making that change all righty the password for the pico s uh is just enter so if for some reason we were to lock ourselves out of it like this we unlock it's just it's just enter or when we boot in if for some reason we walk away and it times out while we're finishing the setup because the setup is a two-part Kind of setup thing um it you know and it locks you just you just pre press enter it's great which is fantastic because that also means that it works for me to just press enter uh for for when when i want to remove my password so easy peasy right there automatically partition drive we're going to go ahead and select our disk now i have a virtual hard drive because we're doing inside of a vm today um needs at least 30 gigs wow i too small hey ran into that give me just a moment we'll be right back i'll rectify that all right got that got that sorted we're good to go now we know there's a limit of 30 gigs i i don't do this with vms usually all right confirm installation we've got btrfs system uh yes is via sub volume um partitioning method automatic swap zone yeah, yeah that's fine we're doing zram and we run through the installer. So as soon as this installer is finished, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at the next stages of PicoS. All right, we're done, successfully installed. Let's go ahead and reboot the system. And now once it loads up, we're here at the welcome screen. So we're gonna go ahead and go with the let's get started. Obviously we have internet, so we're good to go there. We're gonna go ahead and type in our username. And the beautiful part is they have also adjusted it. So now when you type in capitals, it auto corrects here. And then we're going to go with archiver VM. All right. And the password is going to be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's not one, two, three, four, five, because that's the same password that we use on our luggage. You get that reference. We're fine. Now you can run the updates from right here, which I would recommend. So we're going to go ahead and run those updates. And once the updates are done, I'll be back with you guys. All right, the system is updated. Now it's gonna go ahead and go through and check to see if there's any drivers that we need. There's not. All right, so this used to be a little thing that was part of the welcome, which the welcome still exists. Um, oops. We're not gonna change anything. This used to be part of it. It installs the codex. Go through, install this because it's going to be something that you're going to want to have, especially if you're interested in content creation inside of Pico OS. It's fantastic. It takes only a couple of seconds for it to install things, but these are files like FFmpeg and stuff like that that have copyright. Um, so they can't just be part of the package. Does that make sense? Like the, the, the actual installation media, you have to manually do it yourself afterwards. All right, so we have the multimedia codecs installed. The next thing, Pico S gaming packages. This is going to be things like uh, Steam, Lutris, uh, Heroic Games. I think it also includes Discord in there. Maybe maybe Discord separate. Um, 
a bunch of gaming utils and and, and and different stuff like that. See, like Heroic Game Launcher was just there. Just stuff that you're going to want. You want to play video games, right? This is Linux. We're all gamers here. That's one of the things that was holding back Linux all this time was the lack of compatibility with being able to play video games. And Lord Gaben came down from his ivory tower and said, I shall bestow upon you. All right, so those packages are installed. We're set there, and that's it. The initial setup is complete. It's going to go ahead and do a reboot, and then uh, we'll be into our happy new PicoS system. That's just some of the changes that took place. It, it, it used to be a little bit, you know, a little bit different. Um, you know, they, they're, they're working on stuff. They're doing a great job. I am... I am just wildly impressed with the 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 ability for the Pico S team to just keep popping out reliable good updates. Let's see if we can do 1920 by 1080 apply. Ha ha ha! There we go. Alrighty, here we are. So this is the setup. Welcome, right? We already you know system updates, open kernel manager. We can play with that type of stuff later. Um. And then we can also install the extra utils. Uh, the next thing real quick. So if you don't like passwords because you're like me, uh, if you do sudo P-A-S-S-W-D hyphen D and then your username, it will remove your password after you type in your password. All right. And there we go. All right. That portion's done. And then device configurations, VR equipment, all that stuff. We're going to go ahead and get that installed, which only takes, you know, just a couple of you know, seconds here. It's not really that big of a, of a, a set of packages. And then once we're in here, let's see. Uh, if you install the Microsoft fonts, because this is, this is good to have. All right. And then if you have any desire, these other options are in here. So if you do content creation like I do, you have the OBS install. Um, then you have, you know, Caden live, um, uh, and then that's, that's, that's it. You know, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cut and dry. The next thing, if you don't like this, cause I am not a fan of this. If you right click, nope, we're not going to right click on my main one. If you right click here, show alternatives, you can switch this launcher. So this way you have the normal launcher. You have this nice, beautiful see through background. Everything's nice and pretty. If we go in here, we have things like the Discover, which is going to be the flat packs um, side of things. And they have, uh, the, the, it seems to be running a little bit faster now, which is nice. The only thing that I don't like is we still don't have um, logos that are in there. And then it does run off of the apt um, command set. So sudo apt update we're just gonna go ahead and check for everything there's nothing there but if you were to do that at the end then you have upgrade you know there's nothing to upgrade right now so yeah that's that's the new install process when it comes to the pico s and if you watch the other video or watch the beginning of it i don't know where i'm going to throw it that's also how to do it inside of the vm so this way you can play with it and kind of see what you're what you're looking for yeah See you guys in the next one. Don't be afraid to dive on into the rift.